It is November 7th, 2020, opening day of the Minnesota rifle season, deer season, and I am hunting on public land in northern Minnesota, northwestern Minnesota. I'm hiking out already. Got my backpack with my warm clothes, my rifle, but I'm short a couple things. I'm short a couple nips of sausages, a couple of cookies, a little water, and one bullet. I just got a real nice 10 pointer with stickers. He was the first deer I saw today and it was at 12.55 uh, in the afternoon. I was starting to think it was kind of hopeless. It started out at 36 degrees this morning, about a 10 mile an hour, maybe 8 to 10 mile an hour wind. And uh, it warmed up to, I'd say, mid-50s right now. The wind died down, and all of a sudden, there comes this deer. I don't, I didn't film any of that. I just figured I'd throw a quick video here of my success on public land in Minnesota, since I haven't uploaded a video to my channel in a few weeks. So stay tuned. I'm heading out to the truck to get rid of this pack, and I'm going back in with my cutlery and game bags. And I'm going to butcher the deer in the field, and then I'm going to bring it out. I've got a game cart back there with a tree lounge deer stand that I hunted out of in a patch of popple trees. In the area here, as you can see, just a lot of open grass, open meadow, and brush, and a few patches of popple here and there. So I'm kind of excited to get back to the deer. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back to the deer cart, and that's a folded up tree lounge stand. I'm not sure if you're familiar with what a tree lounge stand is. It's very comfortable, a little clunky, but great stands for all day sits, and they fold up pretty nice and flat. That's a deer cart I bought brand new. It had some cheap plastic wheels on that didn't last very long, so I modified it with wheelchair wheels, and they have worked awesome. Probably should have did a video on that. But anyway, I'm about a mile back in from the parking area. A buck's land over there. I was hunting in a clump of popple trees with a... Um, just back there, I'll run a video of that a little bit closer um, as I'm talking here of the popple stand. And it just overlooks this open grassy area with kind of intermittent brush patches. And I don't see a lot of deer, but it seems like when I see a deer, it's, it's nice. I've been hunting in this general area for about 20 years. I only missed a couple years. And it's been pretty good to me. I'd say out of those 18 years or so that I've been here, I've probably only gone home twice without a decent buck. Okay, so there he is. For public land, I'm pretty pleased. He's uh, probably around 130 inches, I'm guessing. Maybe a little more. I, it's, you know, it doesn't really matter. We'll find out. Got a nice little sticker on the G2 of each side there. He went about 100 yards. He was on the other side of this run of trees. I was in the popples 100 yards from here on the other side of that. He busted right through. I shot him only about 50 yards. I think I hit him right in the heart. He didn't bleed much, so I was getting a little worried. But I, uh, I knew it was a good shot. And there he is. How about that? I'm one happy hunter in Minnesota today. So I got to get to work here and get these quarters and this head out of here before it gets dark. It is now, well, I don't know. 3.30, I suppose, somewhere in there, going on 4 o'clock. All right, so I got it quartered up. I kept the head and cape. Got those game bags. Took the four quarters off, back straps, tenderloins, a little neck meat. One of the shoulders is shot pretty good. Turned out to be a, a perfect heart shot. I can't believe he went 100 yards. His opposite shoulder was blown out. So anyway, mile back to the truck. I'm going to call it a day. i got to pick up a buddy. At a different area, about a mile from here, uh, right at dark. I'll put a picture here that I had, a selfie of the buck right after I found him and got up to him, so. Okay, it's 4.45, and I'm back to the truck. And if this looks easy on video, it's not. Uh, it's very, very hard, but very rewarding. Like, I can't think of a... Uh, too many better ways to spend a day and uh, have this kind of satisfaction at the end of the day. Uh, kind of appreciating everything that's out there, uh, even before this deer showed up. But 
uh, yeah, I'm not any better hunter than anybody else. I am persistent, stubborn, and maybe a little stupid. And there isn't one day that goes by in a year that I don't read, watch, or do, or plan something with regard to deer hunting. Uh, just, it's fun for me. And I know there's a lot of other people out there that share that same passion. So thanks for watching. I'm glad I was successful in Minnesota. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do. See you in the next one.